Hello everyone, my throat hurts badly, so today a robot is reading for me. Today I want to talk about using Inkscape and Envy 2D programs together. And he will answer the questions that are not the first time that Envy 2D users have asked. The imported SVG object size and name does not match the size and object name in Envy 2D. In order for the sizes of objects in Inkscape and Envy 2D to match, you need to correctly configure the project in Inkscape. In the document options, change the units in pixels in the display units and units options in the custom size rollout. In the scale rollout, set the value to 1. Now let's set the size of our canvas. For example, full HD. And just in case, check the units in the list next to the dimensions and coordinates of the object. Create a 700 by 600 px rectangle with coordinates 200 in x and 200 in y. We will also give a name to the object. The name must be set not in the object panel, but in the object properties. Now let's check. As you can see, the size and name are the same as in Inkscape. linear gradient is supported, but the position of complementary colors in the gradient is not set. More precisely, the distance between the colors is divided into equal sections. Radial gradient Radial gradient support has been added in the latest version of the program, thanks Mori C. But when there are multiple radial gradient objects in the project, the gradient is imported with weird. Clipping mask and mask. Unfortunately, this parameter is not supported, but masks can always be created in Envy. Patterns. The story is the same, they are not supported either. These are the main questions that I wanted to clarify. Anyway, even these few restrictions do not mean that you cannot create something good in Inkscape and then import it into Envy2D. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all, and take care of yourself.